That's really what we're looking for is uh, the joy of life, which is our gift, actually, that that's the relationship with God that we all have it's at the bottom of it is the joy of being alive. And, uh, but, you know, we lose that in, in life. We have it really easily as kids. And we start, it starts draining away and we let the world take it here and there. I am signing copies of my new record, Fallen, a gospel record for sinners. I grew up at the Baptist church and I, I love the, all the hymns that come from there. Uh, that I remember from being a kid. And uh, then I've written some songs uh, that are very much in the faith category, I think. And I guess what really spurred it was uh, On My Way to Heaven, On my way to heaven. which I wrote for my mom when I got out of what I call cocaine school uh, back in 1990 <laughs> to let her know I was okay, because you know, I wasn't okay before then. and. Uh, we, we all look at addiction and all that. We use things to fulfill a hole inside us. That's what we do. I don't have any regrets about life or anything, but I'm really glad I'm not in that life anymore. I mean, I stopped because I came home and I was in a band. We got a record deal and they broke up because of me, because I was just, I, I was, I was not uh, reliable and I was, you know, I don't know. But I, I remember going home and having kind of a white light experience that I saw myself either dead or in jail or losing everything I had. And, you know, I didn't want that. When you're done with the, the addiction, you need something to fill that hole, something that really works, right? And I started reading the Bible again, but I also, I read the Bhagavad Gita, I read the Dhammapada, I read the Koran. And I went back and I uh, read the, the, the Bible again just like for the second or third time. And I was really struck by the red words of Jesus. For me, I started developing that personal relationship. And, you know, the songs started to come out. You know, they're self-reflective, self, you know, uh, uh, examining yourself, and also, you know, just where you are spiritually in, in life. And, you know, um, they're not churchy. That's, that's the thing I think I'm trying to get to. All of us have a relationship with God, whether we're, um, you know, whether you're a Christian or not, or whatever, we all have a relationship with Him. It may not be good, <laughs> or it may, you know, it's, but there, it, and you may not even believe, but uh, you're still in relationship to that side of yourself. I was always interested in, like, human behavior and, you know, why we do what we do. And, was, you know, so I was caught up and fascinated by it. And then music and movies have, have, got, have been interwoven throughout my career. I don't know if it's that I realized I could make it as an actor. I just decided that's what I was going to do. I was going to go out there and, you know, uh, it was, you know, a couple of people, I didn't finish college, you know, and people would say, well, what are you going to fall back on? And, and I was, I was fall back to what was my attitude about it because I just was determined that's what I was going to do. Like I say to my kids, find something that you love to do and figure out a way to get paid for it. And you will have a third of your life kind of solved. I kind of really always sell myself more as a character actor, doing different things different types of roles, different types of people. You know, that that really interests me. Anything that gives me, like, uh, fear down my spine, that's the thing I should do. Because that'll keep me focused and interested. Top three of my favorites? Well, The Right Stuff was my favorite movie. Who was the best pilot I ever saw? Yeah! yeah. Well, uh, you're looking at him. I played an astronaut. I got my pilot's license from that. Chuck Yeager was on the set every day. You know, my boy boyhood hero I was playing, basically, Gordo Cooper. These college kids out here, they're never going to get old. They're out of shape. Because new ones come along every year. They're going to keep calling us cutters. Breaking Away was Peter Yates and 
he really taught, uh, there were four boys in there, you know, me and Danny Stern, and Cyril and Dennis, and he taught us how to film act, really. And it was such a, it's such a incredible, charming movie. And it was like the first youth movie of the, you know, the, what was the, the 80s, you know, before the Brad Pack came along. It was, a, it gave me a career. After that, I, I didn't have to audition so much. The third one is usually the one I just finished. I really enjoy it a lot more than I used to. I just do it because I want to. I'm not trying to get anywhere, really, you know, win any awards or, um, you know, acknowledgement. I just, I just love doing it, so that's why I'm still here. I love being a dad. I really do. I re yeah, I really do. I think I'm a good. I think I'm a good dad. I just, it turned out so far so good. Jack really turned out well. I'm really proud of him. And Thomas and Zoe too. They're just they're really great kids. I love watching them grow up and watching them change. I kind of feel like a dorky dad a lot because, especially my daughter, makes me kind of feel that way. Very uncomfortable, awkward, awkward. Oh, teenagers are awkward. Laura's the love of my life. We have a bond with one another that uh, uh, that I never had with anybody else before. You know, God is in the relationship for one thing, which I've never had a relationship like that before. And she's super smart and she's very deep. I mean, we just have fun together. We, we do, I just like there's an age difference with us, but we just never noticed it right from the very beginning. And uh, Happiest I've ever been. I'm grateful to still be here. I'm grateful for to be alive really every day. You know, I think it's I think it's important to really enjoy your ride. It is your ride along in life as much as you can because there's a lot of challenges and stuff to knock it down. Plenty of time to feel bad about stuff. So you really gotta like make sure you're enjoying it.